my fellow collectors, this is Link's Reviews and I'm Link and today we're going over some special pops and pop memorabilia, especially some t-shirts. Now I just took a trip to Target, I saw on a collector uh, app, uh, or a collector who goes to stores to help fellow collectors, hey, you need this, I'm right here, hit me up on Twitter, I'll get it, you just pay me, and I was looking, he's like, there was something on there that I really want, like, those aren't supposed to be out until the 10th and 11th, I thought. So next day, I went to my Target, and guess what? I was able to get the, almost the entire line. I was only not able to get the pins and socks. I did have a chance to get the mugs or something, but I decided against it. And that is the new Marvel Funko Blacklight Collection. Here's the Deadpool Magic t-shirt. Very cool. The Wolverine. Is this the glow-in-the-dark one? I don't know. I don't know. But it's the Pop and Tea set. Which is very cool. And I got the Blacklight Deadpool. The Blacklight Magneto. The Blacklight Rogue. And the Blacklight Gambit. So I was able to get the full line of pops and a t uh, two t-shirts, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to start off with the Deadpool t-shirt because I really want these. I, I just want to array these really quickly. Alright, there we go. I want to do these in order. <laughs> Dude, this pop tee set for the Logan is... Or the Wolverine is pretty cool. I think this is the glow in the dark one, if I'm not mistaken, but I really want to put this Deadpool magic shirt on, so looking forward to that. So let's get this open. If you live in Minnesota and anywhere near Oatana and you need this set, depending on how soon I upload this video, uh, you might be able to get a chance to get it. I know this stuff goes really quickly. Not only is the scalpers in my town extreme for Funko Pops and Pokemon cards, they're just fanatic about stuff. Hopefully this fit me. I got a large in both of the Pop t uh, sets. So hopefully this fits me. So the box though is really cool. I love this so much. Always need more Deadpool shirts. Is this open by... Nope, this thing, this sucker is sealed. This sucker is sealed. Close that drawer. Alright, here we go. The Deadpool Magic shirt. I'm going to try this on real quick. Be right back. So far, so good. It looks great. Looks absolutely amazing. It fits nice. Not too tight. Not too snug. Not too loose either. So, pretty good, in my opinion. Alright, so... I think I'm going to save this one for last because I'll try on this t-shirt at the end. I want to keep this Deadpool on as long as possible. So, next up. So, first up, we have number 798, Black Light Gambit. Thing looks super cool. Oh, this thing's down here. I need this. Especially for these pops. I need this. So, very, very cool. Black light line is so cool. You can definitely tell this is the same um, form or model that they used for my past Gambit video. They just black lighted the colors out of this thing, so it looks pretty cool. So let's get it right open and show it. Check it out. So this one comes with no base. But I just love the purples on him. So I'm hoping he stands up nicely. 
He stands up pretty well, actually. That's very nice. I gotta stop saying that. It's not cool anymore to say very nice like that. That's so nice. Look at this thing. So good. So good. Super excited that I was able to get my hands on this one. So very, very cool. Alright, close up. I want to see if there's any paint defects. I love how the cards are inside his energy waves. Just so cool. Oh, there is some slight paint uh, decoloration on the back palm of his energy. Right here, it also looks like the energy, like the, the molding that they used is splitting, so be aware of that. But other than that, so far, it looks really, oh, there's some purple fading onto the black. But you're never going to see that, especially in box and from just looking at the front lines. It's still really cool, but it's definitely going to have to be downgraded to an 8.5 to 9 out of 10 because of that. But it is still a great pop. Absolutely fantastic. Still love it. Still don't regret buying it. By the way, let me know in the comments down below if you have a chance to get any of these pops and if you got them. And if my review helped you buy these. Let me know. So, there we go. But so next up, we have 790, number 799, the Marvel Magneto Blacklight Edition, which is still pretty cool. Always could use another Magneto pop. But I do have to say, Funko, start making more DC pops. My, my Marvel collection is so massive compared to the DC, and that's because I don't have that many options for the DC. I need more DC pops. Come on, Funko. But yeah, these are very, very cool. Very, very cool. Number 799 set of four pops. Well, technically five if you count the Wolverine. And these are all Target exclusives, by the way, so you're only going to be able to get them at Target or some third-party places that buy them and then charge you a lot more. Or sometimes less, depending on uh, the, well, uh, the value of these. So be wary. Oh, he's in his classic attire of black lighted. I love how they use the skin tones as a yellow and the rest of it as all like a pink and purple. It's just so cool. So nice. Lovely jubblies. Where am I coming up with all these things? I don't know. I have to hear them somewhere, but for the life of me, I cannot hear and remember them. Just so cool. And he stands up pretty well even without a base, so pluses all around. And all of these so far have been bobbleheads, so still very cool. He does not look like he have uh, he has any paint defects. Oh, I like the black shadowing that they added to the back of the cape. That's very cool. I love how in this in the black light they add like shadowing of black color to add depth. It's just so cool, and it's a nice detail. Very nice. And paint on this one looks impeccable. So, 10 out of 10. Our first one of the set, hopefully not the last. Alright, next up we have number 800, and it's the classic Rogue. Always been a fan of Rogue in the comics. Great character, tragic character, but in the comics, she owns it. She owns it. In the movies, not so much. But in the comics, she owns it. And she's just, just awesome. But I'm going to keep Magneto and Rogue as far as away from being possible from each other. Especially after I recently, for the first time, read the comic where they were both trapped in the Savage Land. And boy, did that scar me forever. Never want to see that again. Oh, this one comes with a base. Oh, I love her hair. Her hair is so good. Instead of the white on top, it's yellow. Oh, and her skin tone is orange instead of yellow like theirs. 
Maybe because she's a lot more paler than them. I'm not sure, but it looks great. She looks great. Now the real question is, will she look great standing up? And will she stand up at all? And it looks like it's going to be great. She's standing up just perfectly. But I can already see some paint defects on the hair. Some of the black is bleeding onto, uh, bleeding onto the yellow, and some of the yellow is bleeding onto the black. So that's mostly in the back and the front. It's pretty good. So, cheers all around. I don't, I don't know what's happening with my language centers today. I don't get it. What is happening? I'm just so excited, I guess, for this that my language centers are just blitzing. They're just going all over the place. I'm using words I never used before. Ah, so cool, though. This pop is definitely pretty cool, though. So, definitely going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Just because I would give it a 9, but I just love Rogue so much. So, so now, nostalgia reasons, I'm going with a 9.5. I'm going to put her here. Or here. All right. And for the second to the last pop, we have our favorite chaotic person, the chimichanga loving dude. It's Deadpool, Wade Wilson, number 801, Blacklight Target Exclusive Edition, which is just absolutely amazing. I love how his guns are blue. His one gun is blue. His, his like, uh, tactical belt is blue. Just love it so much. So let's open this sucker up and check him out. Set this down here. And he is not a, um, not, a, doesn't have a base, so he's hopefully going to stand up on his own. I'm always wary of them not having a base, especially when they're bobbleheads. Because they have a tendency to move around. But he seems to be doing pretty well. I like how their foot positions are at an uh, angle that allows for evenly distributed weight. And yeah, even turning, he stands up pretty well. And I just love how his whole costume is basically pink. There was a, an edition where um, he was dressed up in all in pink for breast cancer awareness, so this um, kind of pays homage to it. So, if you want to think about that, that'd be pretty cool. What well, the black light edition version of Deadpool is pretty cool. His eyes are yellow. He's got some blue on his black parts of his eyes. The detail all around is just so nice. So far, paint looks good on him. Let's look at the back where they always seem to. Ooh, uh, his scabbards have purple ends for his swords, but no swords. Maybe he ran out of his swords and now he's just stuck with his gun. His guns. One on this arm and one on this arm. So, pretty cool. So, definitely a 10 out of 10 for Deadpool. Can you see him? And last but not least, the final pop of the night is going to be the Wolverine Pop and Tea Set. Now, this one is also a large, so hopefully it fits me. So, I'm going to start opening this up, and then I'm going to change into the Wolverine T-shirt. i got to be careful because I don't want to scratch up the box. Not one bit. Also, did you guys like last week's video of the Spawn Commando statue by McFarland Toys from Mortal Kombat 11? It was one of my favorite statues so far. It's honestly really cool. It's been a while since I've had a 10-inch Spawn statue, so I was super stoked to be able to have a chance to get one again. Especially not having to pay eBay prices that are insane. But, alright. So, this one's going to open from the top, it looks like. So here we have the Wolverine. I don't think this one is a glow in the dark, because usually it would say. So this might be just a part of the exclusive pop and tea set. So this one's just in a straight in bag. Pretty cool though. Ah, oh, I love this t-shirt. I need more Marvel t-shirts. More t-shirts! More! Oh. 
Here we have the Wolverine. Pretty cool. Definitely going to try this on. Let's get right to it. So this one fits just about the same as the Deadpool. It's a little bit looser actually in the uh, shoulders area, so that's actually quite nice. The Wolverine. Awesome. Pretty cool. Alright, lower myself down so you can see my reaction, especially to the final pop, the number 802 Wolverine. I love Wolverine. So cool. Oh, let's get it open. There we go. Super, super, super cool. Oh, he looks so nice. So cool. It's the Wolverine. Logan. One of the howling commandos. One of the experiments of Weapon X. He's gone by many names and many faces and many lifetimes. It's the Wolverine. So very, very cool, though. And he stands up really well even without a base. So always a plus there. The Wolverine can never be defeated. I mean, he can, but not easily. So cool. Oh, just so awesome. I almost wish this was a glow-in-the-dark version, because if he had been, it would look absolutely amazing, I believe. It would look spectacular. I might actually have to test this out if it is, though, because I can't remember if this was a glow-in-the-dark version or not. But, can't hurt to try it out! So, pretty, pretty cool. Paint scheme on him looks pretty good. I don't see much paint bleeding, at least super obvious ones, so... I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. The second 10 out of 10 of this set. Not bad all around. Pretty, pretty cool. So, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit this like button. Subscribe if you're new. Share this with your friends. Comment down below. Um, I do have two other channels. So, I have a reaction channel where I react to like Marvel and DC stuff. WandaVision. Um, Sci-Fi's Resident Alien. One of those videos almost is reaching a thousand views. It's my Sci-Fi uh, Resident Alien Episode 1 reaction. I have no idea why that one's gotten so much, but the rest of them is like not. It's only 20 subs on that one, so a di bit of difference. I also have a Pokemon channel where I unpack Pokemon packs. And I'm doing a giveaway on that one, so check that one out. Just like I'm doing a giveaway on this channel, if we reach 500 subs, I'll be giving away a child Funko Pop. And so, yeah, so if you want a chance to win that, make sure to subscribe and share this video. And as always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out. So hey, one other thing I just noticed about all these pops, fun fact for all those people out there that are huge Marvel fans, is that all of the pops I just reviewed have had relations with Rogue. So there's only Rogue in this set, but the rest of them are all with guys that she's had relationships with. And I just realized this when I'm starting to edit this video. That's crazy. Fun fact, and weird fact, and slightly strange fact, but you know what I'm saying. Alright. Just weird.